Hey everybody, welcome back to Let's Go Geo. So it's Friday and that means it is time for a featured Friday. So as you can see, I am still in that basin and range, wide open spaces kind of landscape. And I'm doing a couple of things out here. I'm doing some exploration. I'm working on a very exciting new video, so stay tuned for that. Some of it happens here. That's part of the reason why I'm here. Um, and there's a lot of old mining stuff here. There's a ghost mining town in this region. And there's some interesting uh, topography going on here. So if you look off in the distance, you see these mountains or hills, but I don't know if you notice anything kind of weird with those hills, like check that one out. Kind of flat tops. Now, sure you can get mesas and, and plateaus and you know, they kind of can have a flattish look. This one in the foreground also has a bit of a flattish look. So my question for you today for our featured Friday is, take your take a guess, take a stab at this. Uh, so how about this? So this hill right here, the yellowish one in the foreground. And then of course we have mountains back there. We have some mountains going on and whatever we have going on over here. This, we're talking about this foreground one. What is it, natural or unnatural? So that's your, that's your thing to drop in the comments. Is that natural or unnatural? And uh, you know, whatever your guess is, what is it? What feature is that? What geologic feature, human feature? What do you think we have? What's up with this hill? What caused this feature? Can you explain it? So take your best guess. This is our view. I know it can be a little difficult um, to see. We're actually closer than it probably looks, but it's, it's a pretty large feature. Uh, that's, that's a huge, huge hill there in front of us. Uh, so yeah, so see if you can figure out what's going on there. Like I said, lots of hints. I probably kind of gave it away today. Um, we are in an old mining region. I know that this was a big region for silver mining, but they also got some other stuff out of here. Of course, gold and related metals. So it was a, you know, it was a decent bustling mining town to some extent. There's a lot of interesting things going here. There was a piping of water from mountains that are really far away. They did have buildings. I did actually check them out. I'll, I'll either do a video from the ghost town in this area at some point, um, or I, I can also take some of the pictures I took and, and share those on Let's Go Geo at Facebook. So if you guys wanna check those out. If you're interested in old mining ghost towns, you can check that out there. So, and then yeah, like we're talking about this one, but just for fun, there's also these over here. <clears throat> so those are also massive, massive mountains, um, flat topped. Let's zoom in a little bit so you can see those. So again, I'm, I'm guessing that you guys can figure out those are clearly pretty unnatural structures. Uh, you can see just by looking at what's flowing down the sides of the, the way that that looks on the sides of those hills and that crazy flatness on top. And being that this is an old mining region, those are certainly um, not natural. Those are man-made features. And we get stuff like this in a mining region because of the mining efforts. A lot of times when they start open pitting, we'll see very large features. It'll, it'll look like a mountain's top was taken off because in a sense, it, it was. So then there's, a, let's go back to this feature with the kind of zoom here. So there's that feature. So, but that's a little different than those, right? So you still kind of not sure, natural. I'm trying to trick you here. We got mountains back there. We got mountains here. That that looks natural. I'm not, I don't know, but that, those don't. What is that? So hopefully if you've had time now to drop your guess in the comments for our exciting featured Friday and um, if you've already done if you haven't done that do it now because now let's talk about what we have here so this is definitely man-made this is an unnatural feature and again I mentioned that there was open pitting in this area there's a huge pit again I'll put some pictures on Facebook or some sometime soon we'll do a little a little ghost town tour there is a there is a big open pit mine in this region uh, there are definitely much bigger open pits in the world, <laughs> but this one's pretty big and um, they started mining here, oh gosh, very early. They were in this region in the 1800s and then through the early 1900s. So they were doing a lot of different stuff, but then eventually later into the later 19, uh, the, into the 1900s, they started doing open pit methods. So there's this big pit 
over there. We're a little closer to the actual mining ghost town. Um, so yeah, so between the features you can see there and there, they pulled down a lot of sediment and I think they did had some um, leaching piles here too. And, and that might have to do with this. So this is basically a remediation hill, we'll call it. Okay, so I think they are trying to remediate this landscape, kind of clean up some of the mining efforts. And one thing you get is when they mine certain things, you get hills like this and even decades later, the plants won't grow back on that. So that that landscape really can't recover in any way if vegetation can't grow back. So obviously the hydrology gets changed and that's an important part of um, some of the damage that mining can do to a region. People think of kind of like the physical, like digging a hole, but it's actually the changing of the hydrological patterns and the vegetation patterns. So those hills, they're not getting any vegetation grown. So you can see on this hill where they're doing remediation that it kind of has that, again, that yellow haze. So that's, I'm assuming they tried to plant some stuff there for that remediation. There's actually, like some plants will even help. Like the, the plants are important because it, it helps hold soil together. And that, and then, then when they die, obviously that provides nutrition for the soil. So, and then lichens can grow. So there's lots of things they can help break down the rock. So. Plants do all kinds of stuff like that, but they also might be interacting with water. Um, so yeah, so it's going to help hold the soil together there and, and help that landscape come back. So that's basically what we're looking at there is some remediation effort where they've planted, I'm not actually sure what plant, there are some plants that have been researched for kind of cleaning up the soil as well. So they'll uptake things that are otherwise toxins to the environment that's that's what i was going to say before yeah so these uh that's another cool thing that some of the research has shown plants that can clean up um, the environment so i don't know that they really put that into account here and i don't know how long this has been like this but as you can see it's pretty patchy the plants still aren't really taking on um, and I don't even know, like this landscape's already altered a bit from grazing, so these this vegetation's pretty invasive here. A lot of thistles and stuff. So I don't know what they plan on that, but that's what it is. It's a remediation hill. It's from the the waste, the tailings, the, the stuff left over from a huge mining operation, an old ghost town, which we'll talk about here soon. I thought that would be a fun, different feature, not a hand sample today for you guys, especially since I'm in the field, we've got some new content coming, so stay tuned if you guys are interested in testing yourself with all the Featured Fridays. I stick them in a playlist as best as I can, so check out the Featured Friday playlist and you can have fun with that whole challenge. Otherwise, I'll see you guys on the next adventure here at Let's Go Geo.